Hey guys, this video is an extension to the original T8SG review I previously uploaded. In this video, I'll show you how to do more advanced configurations with the T8SG and Deviation TX. I'll go over extra channels, rates, and configuring the layout for the main screen. This tutorial applies to other radios like the Volcara Devo 10 or Devo 7E since they were also run Deviation TX. In my previous video, I showed you how to set up a simple four channel quad, but some quads have a switch for flips, a switch for turning on the camera, or a switch for turning on and off lights. They also have a button to control the rate. You have to find out what functions your aircraft is capable of performing and finding out what channels they use. You can Google it, of course. I'll also have a link to the protocol channel mapping in the description that should have most protocols mapped out. Once you have all this information, you can then start to program the extra channels in Deviation TX. For this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up the Hubson X4 quadcopter. Most stock radios that are included with your toy quad will have a button to change the rate. Changing rates will alter the responsiveness of the quad. Higher rates means that it reacts quicker to your stick movements. Since the T8SG is a much more advanced radio, I'll also show you how to change the rate for each of the channels like the aileron, rudder, or elevator. Either have them all changed with one switch or each channel individually with its own three position switch. So the very first thing that we do is create a new model. So go to model setup and then load up an empty slot. So I'm going to choose model three, which is not taken. And we're going to give it a, a name, a more descriptive name. So I'm going to quickly type in Hubson X1 here. Now we're going to select an icon. So I'm going to just select the multi rotor icon. And then I'm going to choose the type multi, which is for multi rotors. And then you want to go down and select the transmitter power I'm going to use 100 milliwatts and then finally you want to check to make sure that you have the right protocol and for the Hubson X4 you want to use the Hubson X4 protocol there's actually one named specifically for it so the Hubson 4 and then you want to go in there and make sure you have H107 and that should be all the configuration you need to do for the model setup the next step is to go into the mixer and that's where all the magic happens so once you get into here as you can see, all the uh, mixers are simple, have a simple curve. And what you want to do is to actually go into like the aileron, elevator, and rudder and change them to complex. So uh, select simple, hit enter. And then what you want to do is move the right arrow and choose uh, uh, complex. And from here, you can actually choose, um, you create multiple mixers for each um, position on your switch. In our case, we'll have a high, medium, and low value so we're going to create three mixers and for the first um, position which is the low position you want to um, basically assign a switch to that so I'm going to use this switch here at the low position uh, switch uh, D0 and this will be this will make it switch into low so uh, you want to make sure that the source is aileron the curve is one to one and right here you want to set the low value and this is what I'm going to set it to at 50. You can play around with the low value. You might want to set to 40 or, or a little bit higher. Uh, and next thing you want to do is select the mid value. And you want to set this on to the mid uh, position of the switch. So it's D1. And again, you want to make sure that the source is aileron, curve one to one. And here you want to set the mid value. So maybe somewhere around 75. And then uh, go back up and you want to set the uh, third position now which is page three and um, this is the high value and you want to put the switch at the high position so uh, d2 and go back down and again the scale should be at 100 now because that is the high value and we can uh, toggle through these pages to see what is going on so here at, when the switch is at d0 it is at the lowest and medium and then high so as you flip through the switches there on D that's where it will go that next thing you want to do is save it and we're gonna to go to elevator now and do the exact same thing so uh, select complex and we want three mixers for the high medium and low and for the first one uh, we're going to use, I'm going to use the exact same switch, but you can assign them to different switches if you like. So if you want to alter the elevator, you can use another switch and rudder can use another switch. But I'm going to use the same switch to modify all three channels. So uh, make sure the source is elevator 
And for the low position, I'm gonna set it at 50, just like the aileron, I set it at 50. So pretty much everything I will set it at 50 for the low value, and then 75 for the mid value, and then 100 for the high values. So for the mid value on page two, you wanna set the switch. Again, I'm gonna use the exact same switch, so switch D1, and I'm gonna make sure that the source says elevator, curve one to one, and the mid values, like I said before, was 75. And the third mixer for uh, elevator will be the high position, and we're gonna use switch D2. And now we're gonna set the value to be 100, which is at the max value. And once again, we're gonna make sure that the settings are correct. So the first mixer, second mixer, and third mixer. Now after you've done all the settings, make sure that you save it. And finally, you wanna set the uh, three mixers for rudder as well, and you wanna go through the same process. So that's how you set up three different rates for the elevator, rudder, and aileron. So this way you can just flip it with a switch to change how responsive it is. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up the extra channels. So if your quadcopter say has a, a channel specifically used to turn on lights or to uh, allow you to flip the quadcopter or turn on a camera, this is where you can do that. So in the case of the Hubson X4, channel five is used to um, flip the quadcopter. So what I'm gonna do is go into channel five here and select a simple configuration. And for the switch, I'm gonna use uh, switch A at the far right here. And it's gonna be uh, SWA0. And when you flip this switch, it would activate channel five, allowing you to flip the quadcopter. And usually how that works is you flip it the channel, flip down the channel five switch, and then you move your sticks in the direction that you want your uh, quadcopter flip, and it will do like a somersault. And finally, you have channel six. For the Hubson X4, channel six activates the uh, LED light so that I can turn it on or off. And you do the same thing here. You want to select uh, select simple and source. I'm going to use this other switch here, which is switch uh, C. And uh, C0, when it's active, it will um, basically turn on or off the lights. And scale 100 is fine, and save. So that's how you program extra channels or assign them to switches. Another thing I wanna show you is how to reverse your channels. So for example, if your aileron is going in an opposite direction from your sticks, you wanna go into the mixer here, and this is where you can reverse the channel. The next thing I want to show you is how to modify the main page so that you can see uh, various inputs. So right by default, this is what you see. And the very first thing you'll see is the input for throttle. And after that, you see these two timers. And we're going to modify this uh, main screen so that you can see all four inputs instead of these two timers here. We want to modify it so that you can see the input from your throttle as well as your uh, elevator, aileron, and rudder all to be on this uh, left side of the screen. And how you do that is you go into model memory, model menu, main page config, and you wanna modify these boxes so that they are gonna show you the channels for your aileron elevator or rudder. So on box two, we're gonna change this to channel one because channel one will be aileron. And what you wanna do is scroll through it until you find channel one, so there it is. And the next box, we want to do channel 2, which is uh, ele elevator, I believe. And channel 3 is throttle. And you'll see that these values are there now. So you'll have one for aileron as well as elevator. And we're missing the final one for rudder. So what we're going to do is add another box. So we're going to go back into the menu here, and we're going to add that box at the very top. So go back to main page config and move up to the top. It says here, make sure you have small box, um, add, and then go add. And then when you go to the that section again, you'll see that there now is a box four. And this is where you can put channel four, and channel four will be rudder. So we're gonna quickly scroll through and select that, and you'll see that it will be added.
So once you go to the main menu, you'll see that it's been added. So it's kind of in a weird place right in the middle. So I'll show you how to move that. And basically we want to move it to the left side on top of the throttle. So go back into main page config and then you want to hold down the enter button and then this will get you into the layout screen and you want to select that box. So in order for you to do that, all you have to do is continue to press the uh, down button and the item that is selected will turn black. So we want to make sure that that box four is selected. So uh, keep holding down till it is. So right there you can see that it's in the middle and then hold down the uh, enter button and now it's selected and you can just move it around using your uh, controls. And we're going to place it right up here and make sure that you have it aligned correctly and then hit enter. And then when we exit out into the main page, you'll see that the um, rudder um, basically is up at the top there. So if you move rudder, it will show you the input for it. And that's how you configure it. And now that you have this set up, you can easily test the that the switch is working at controlling the various rates. So the switch is at the very bottom. And as you can see, all those uh, inputs for aileron, elevator, and rudder are at 50%. So they won't go any higher than that. And your quadcopter will be like kind of limited. And then when you flick it to the mid switch, it will be 75. And then finally, when you flick it at the high, high switch, it will be at 100%. So looking at the input, you can tell that this switch is actually altering the rates like we programmed. So now we're going to test out the uh, transmitter with the Hubson X4. So we're going to bind it to the quadcopter by hooking up the battery. And the lights are blinking, showing you that it is looking for a transmitter to bind with. And then when you turn it on, it should automatically bind with it. And the lights turned off letting you know that it is uh, bound. And we're gonna test these uh, switches here. So we program this switch to turn on and off the lights and you can see that it is working like it's programmed. And the other switch that we programmed was for flipping the quadcopter. So it's over here. So when I have it activated, I can flip the quadcopter and the other switch turns on the light. Hopefully you found this video useful. Everything I mentioned can apply to other radios running Deviation TX and not just the T8SG. Links to everything I mentioned should be in the description. Anyways, that's it for this video. Comment, like, share, or subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.